basically today we will solve this example circuit using MATLAB and this will be your template for your takeoff. So what I want you to do is solve your problems in an M file, not command window. Okay, so how we open an M file? There are different ways based on your version of the MATLAB, but it's basically it's a new file. I click it. Okay, now we have a new file. So let's save it and give it a name. Example take home. Okay, and save it. Okay. So my student number, oops, sorry, number is one three four 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 one five and it is really that. So let's print this f print f print f. So in MATLAB you write f print f, not print f. My student number is you do one three four 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 one five. Okay. So this is important because this is the way I check your answers. Okay. So, so as you know, this is the command. Okay. So let's solve the first question here. Question one. And I want you something similar from you. And you can use this as your template. So it's not cheating because I am giving it to you. You can cheat from me, but not your friends. Okay? Good. So, what we should do to solve this problem? We generate G, right? G is equal to what? I cannot see, so you should tell. 4 over 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 5 over 6. Okay, so I want to print your matrix also in MATLAB, so what you should do is just skip the semicolon, it will print it. Okay, so it's simple. So let's generate the I matrix. So let's say this is as I n and denotes as the node voltage method, or we can set I1. I n is equal to 4, 1 over 4. Okay, so you don't need to print this. 1 over 4, okay? It's just... <coughs> there's a reflection, so I cannot see fast. Okay, so this is only what I need. So what should I do? Find V. V is equal to... How can I solve this? There are four different ways. Let's remember. First one is in G times I N. Okay. Or I can use G inverse times I N or I can use pin G times I N or I can use A B. No, it's not G I N. Okay. So which method should I use based on my student number? Okay, so what is the four modulo of phi? It's one. So I should use the <coughs> second method because zero, one, two, three. I should use this. But let's keep everything. This is just an example. You can just delete the other parts. Okay, let's keep everything here. But I want you only to use one method based on your student number. Okay? Good. So this is the solution. That's it. So it's good to write something like this such that it's easier for me. So, solution of, solution of question one. Okay. And put another slash n here. Okay. So, the syntax is similar to C. So, let's solve the second one. F grant F, question two. So, let's look at the mesh analysis. So this is the matrix that we want to solve now. So we generate R. Okay, I think this is better. Eight, 
minus 4, minus 4, 8. Okay? <coughs> Good. So what is V here? V mesh is equal to 4 minus 1. But this is not, it's correct. Okay, so same thing. I can simply copy this. And replace I mesh, I mesh, I mesh, I mesh. And here write VN, 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 VN. Okay, so let's put G's with R's. So basically, this is a really, really simple method script. This is the basic idea. VM, 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 VM. Okay. Is it fine for everybody? This is basically the meta part of your table. Only thing is instead of 2x2 two two matrices, you have 2, 3x3, three three, 1, 5x5, five five five, and 1, 4x4. Four four. Okay, but method is solving, not here. Okay, so how I can run this? There are two ways. First, I can simply click run. Let's do this. Okay, I think it's solved. So this is G, and this is VNs. This is R, this is IMs. Let's check if they are correct or not. And generally, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see. 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 There is, should be like, yes, where, okay, there is a print here, you just print